Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. This is part two of my Facebook members share their big money best bolo for June. Um, most of these are big money or unexpected. I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Anybody in my Facebook group is welcome to share under this post. So if um, you're not in the group and you want to join and share a bolo, that would be awesome. All right, let's get started with the first item here. And it says, I found this in a pile of scattered donations that someone dropped off outside of a recently shut down Goodwill store. Sold within a day for $64. I would have held out for more, but I need to clear some inventory. It is a rare vintage Fantastic World Lisa Frank storage tin. Sandy the Seal. Um, she said that the Goodwill no longer rents the building. It was completely empty. People still dump their stuff there and it gets picked up. It gets picked through daily. Huh. It had already been ransacked when I got there. I couldn't believe this was just laying out in the open. Lisa Frank has been on my top of my bolo bucket list. I was thrilled. So um, somebody was like, and you took it? But if it's no longer a Goodwill, then, you know. Now, you don't want to do that at an actual Goodwill that is open. That would be really bad. Okay, this one comes from Flippin' It Good. He is a Bolo Buddies member, which means he is a member of my channel. If you join at level two, you will get a shout out in this video. He said, I found these at a yard sale for $10 for the set. They sold in two weeks for full price plus shipping. One of them was from a different collection and still sold. Uh, one Direction collection dolls, and they sold for $120. And Flippin' It Good, he does Lost Cargo, he does retail arbitrage. He is a bolo finder. So check out his YouTube channel for sure. This one comes from Thrift and Style 1156. That is her eBay store. This, she does not have a YouTube channel, but check out her eBay store. I found this in a pet store dumpster. Had no clue what it was. Left it there. Asked my brother about it. And he said, grab it. Went back and luckily it was still there. It is a UV sterilizer for fish tanks. Pretty large, about four feet high, 14 by 14 square. Sold on Facebook Marketplace for $300. Got this in a bunch of 30. Cost me a dollar. Sold in less than two days. Hopefully the others will sell quickly. They will all be gravy. PBS Kids Arthur Chicken Pox DVD. $49.99. Wow, that's fantastic. And somebody asked, was it new or used? She said, used. She said, I troll offer up at least once a day to see what good stuff has been listed. I will probably make at least two to 300 profit on my $25 investment of 30 DVDs. I picked this doll up at a thrift store. She was randomly tucked in with the electronics. I knew she was special, but I couldn't check comps until I got home. I paid 65 cents for her and she sold on my birthday for $35. It took a month to sell. Handmade Native American folk art uh, doll signed Pearl Joe. All right. I have been reselling full time for a year and a half now. I have an eBay store. I bought this for 25 cents at a garage sale. Sold in under 12 hours for $100. I probably saw this on one of your previous videos or part-time picker or hairy tornado. Um, I have featured these cats with the arched back. Um, I have sold pins. Um, these are definitely vintage Halloween is, it may have been in my vintage Halloween video too, but it's a Halloween black arched cat blow mold. Um, blow molds in general are, they can be big money, especially the Halloween and the Christmas, but um, check out any blow mold that you look up. I like the smaller blow molds because they're easy to ship, but um, I have shipped the big ones. I'm not a big fan. I, I'm always nervous they're going to break because, ah, you know, I, I don't know. I just, let me know how you guys ship blow molds in uh, the comments. Like the small ones are easy, but the bigger ones, ah, just a lot. Okay, miniatures, brass, bronze animals, major bolo. This is a vintage bronze stag deer statue, artisan dollhouse miniature. So it's really small. You can see in it, he's holding it in his hand in the picture. Sold for $130. Um, he said he picked it up in a box of miniatures. 
Bought this at a Goodwill for $2.99, took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. I could have held out for more. These have sold for around $100. Thanks for what you do and love your channel. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, build a bear, zom bear, zombie teddy bear, stuffed plush green, retired, sold for $74.99. Okay, let's see. Got four of these vintage Care Bears at one yard sale for 50 cents each. This one sold within hours for $49 plus shipping on best, um, plus shipping, best offer. It is a Care Bears uh, Fun Shine Bear celebration, and it's got on this little cute Hawaiian shirt. And this one comes from 1987 Ventures. Um, definitely go check out Tracy on her YouTube channel, and this is what it looks like. All right. Paid $5 at a boot sale. Got $120. And it is, um, it looks like a PlayStation. And it says it was boxed. So, eBay sale, concert in May 2022, and poster sold in June 2022. Paid 60. Dave Matthews uh, band poster. So, it's a concert poster, it looks like. Sold for $179.99. Bought this for six. Sold in a couple days. It is a Boyd's Bear music box, Danbury Mint, Berry Merry Christmas music box. Sold for $57.84. And this one comes from Lake Threads. Check out his YouTube channel. He just scored a massive lot of something vintage that I have talked about on my channel. He is... What a lucky find. You got to go see it. Um, but he just posted a short. I haven't seen the short yet, so I'm excited to check it out. But I did see his post on Facebook um, about what he got. And I was just like, unbelievable. Like, why couldn't I find it? Um, but I'm really happy for him. Check out Lake Threads. I picked up this Daisy Princess lamp for $5 at Savers. Sold in under 10 hours for an offer of $45. So it's a princess lamp. That one sold on Mercari and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this Griswold cast iron skillet up at a yard sale for $10. It was pretty crusty, so I cleaned it up and seasoned it. Listed it for $495. It sat for two weeks with many watchers. I sent out an offer for $415 and it was purchased within two hours. My biggest sale so far. Well, congratulations. That's super exciting. It's a Griswold 12-inch cast iron skillet, large logo with heat ring. This one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, and he has um, a YouTube channel. He has, he's on Whatnot, all under Franklin Hill Ventures. He's on eBay and Mercari. I think he's on Poshmark also. And he also has booths. So this man is like selling, selling, selling. But uh, go follow him on Whatnot. I do have a link down in um, the description of the video. I hope to do an auction over there soon. Um, trying to get my stuff together of what I'm going to sell. I'm kind of nervous. But if you use my link down below, you will get a $10 credit when you sign up with that link. It is a referral link. Um, but you, it's a credit to shop. So free money, right? You can maybe buy something to sell. Okay, so this is what he sold in his booth. This is what it looks like. Um, it's an antique Hauser, H-O-O-S-I-E-R, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, cabinet. Paid $150 for it from a person who reached out to me from contacts I had made from my antique booth. Sold for $450 from a preview picture. I had posted on my Franklin Hill Ventures Facebook page. Yes, check out his Facebook page also. The good thing was, since I sold from my Facebook page, there were no selling fees. All right, the next one comes from Ray Nathan RZ09, and she sold this Bratz doll. Uh, nope, sorry, it's a Monster High, not a Bratz. Um, Monster High doll. She said, from my three shoe boxes of dolls that my daughter didn't want, sold for full asking. Someone wanted to buy, to just buy the gloves, and I got offers, but I said no. Legs are loose, but person was still happy. $99.99. Yeah, you can definitely part out the clothes for sure. All right. Got this at the Goodwill. It was in a bag with two other cameras. They were junk for a total of $20.88. So the particular camera cost me $6.96. Sold on eBay for $155 plus shipping. 
And it is a Nikon camera, tested point and shoot film camera. Found this Ralph Lauren pillow sham set at a local Salvation Army thrift for $1.99. Sold in a couple days for full price of $49 plus shipping. Ralph Lauren Home Blue Label Watch Hill Floral Luxury Queen Pillow Shams. All right, here's the next one. Found this pink cabbage plate at the Goodwill for $3.99. Sold in two days after posting for full asking price of $62.97. It is a vintage 70s Oh, I forget how to say this. Majolica, Majolica. I know I'm saying it wrong. Sorry, guys. Uh, Bordalo. Oh my goodness. Penhario. <laughs> I know I said that one wrong. Pink cabbage curl leaf plate. That's what it looks like. You can see the title there. It's better than I can say it. Um, and this is another one I say wrong. Snatch this. Uh, L I M O G E S. E S. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you guys told me to say it. I just, I, I just cannot remember. Limage, Limoges, trinket box off the shelf at local Humane Society thrift for 93 cents. Limage, is it Limage? I think it might be Limage. <laughs> All right, someone will let me know. Uh, sold an auction for one with one bid in three days, 49.97. And it is a mid-century modern psychedelic paisley porcelain trinket box. Got this cute little guy for 37 cents at the bins. It was a last run through after everything had been picked over, but I knew that he, what he was. Had him listed for 299 and took a best offer of $220 in three days. Gotta love the bins. So it is a Stife teddy bear, early 1900s, blonde mohair. And I don't think they were tagged then. Um, but I just found a bear in a thrift store mystery box. And it's over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. And it reminds me of this bear. So if anybody knows anything about like jointed bears, I mean, it looks really early. I could be totally wrong. Um, but I show a close up of it in my video over on Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. It's called like Unboxing Christmas Mystery Boxes or something like that. So if anybody wants to help me out over there, that'd be great. Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, there's a link down below. Okay, this one says, Courtney, I got this vintage suit at an estate sale. Had to pay 20 for it, but I knew it was so, it would do good. Sold for 350 with $12 shipping. If you find anything vintage, Lily Ann, Lily Ann, L-I-L-L-I. Is that Lily or Lily? Ann, grab it. Wow, that is, that's beautiful. That's really cool. Wow, that is really neat. Okay. This green Crayola teddy bear was just amazing. Purchased for three at a local charity shop and listed for $34.95. Took a best offer of 30 plus shipping. His little sweater had so much pilling, it took a good bit of shaving with my fabric shaver to get it ready to sell. Um, I actually sold a vintage green crayon. It was a green crayon plush. And I can't remember what I sold it for. If I can find it in my solds, I'll pop it up here. But... Um, it was a bolo too. So something about green Crayola crayons. Okay. This one comes from farm girl scavenger Noel, who also helps out in this Facebook group and as a moderator. So go show her some love on her YouTube channel, Noel farm girl or farm girl scavenger Noel. Um, that's her YouTube channel. And she is a big money bolo finder. You will definitely learn a ton from her. It says I paid $2 for this and a huge bulk purchase at an estate sale last summer. And have sold so many of these already that I am beyond hundreds into profit and still have many more to sell. All in with tax and shipping is sold for $283.43 and a 15% off sale. Radco is a major bolo, especially before 2006. So this is what it looks like. All right, the next one. I got this at a church rummage sale. I paid $2 for it, sold for $75. Buyer all in for $102.07 plus that's including shipping and tax. Had best offer added with auto accept at 55, but sold for full price. Sold within three weeks of being listed. This is a large item and had never been used probably from the 80s or the 90s. It's a wooden tabletop lap quilting embroidery frame hoop. 14 inch ball swivel Gruber. I picked this set up at a local church thrift shop. Wasn't sure about it because there were no prices on anything. This was my first time there. The cashier started quoting a dollar or $2. I tossed it in there. 
and she said three. It was a go. I spent six altogether. I looked at comps at home and the trinket boxes alone went for 40. I listed for 150 to an offer of 130 plus shipping after three days. eBay's four day buyer payments with offers is the worst. The anticipation drives you to send the reminder for payment email 20 minutes later. <laughs> However, the buyer paid the end of the second day. It's a vintage, um, ooh, M Quasim and Brothers decorative trinket boxes and trays. This is what it looks like. My in-laws were moving out and we had to clear out their time capsule of a house. They didn't throw anything away when my husband was growing up and this was one of the big money bolos we found. Still have boxes of He-Man and other vintage toys to go through and list. Sold for full asking price. Wow. Clue. The storybook hardcover Little Simon 1985. Is it a game? Hmm. Sold for $279. Bought at Goodwill for $2.99 after seeing it was a vintage jamboree. Sold for full asking price in less than a month. $77. <laughs> it's a floral jamboree blanket. I'm telling you, just crazy, right? Last two good pickups. $2.99 for the bat and $10 for the sheep shears is what I paid. And it looks like... The bat sold for $100 and the shears sold for $130. Purchased at the Goodwill Bins, paid $0.50, cents, sold for $80 plus shipping on eBay. It is a rare San Sanri Sanrio Hello Kitty tan with the Hawaiian uh, luau dress. So that's pretty fun. I love the Build-A-Bear Bolos. I do have the top 10 Build-A-Bear Bolo uh, video out. It's a category video. You can check that out on my channel. I bought this at a church thrift store for $5, sold on eBay for $49.99 in less than a week. Great vintage tablecloth with napkins. And it is by Vera, V-E-R-A. Okay, I love this one. I was digging in a bin of random toys at my local thrift store and picked out about 20 items. One of the things was this replacement, replacement magnetic belly for Midge Barbie doll. I paid $2 for everything, so I had about $0.10 cents into it. It sold within a week. I took a best offer of $50. So this is a little magnetic belly that fits onto a Barbie, and um, I have sold that Barbie before. Um, it's a nice little bolo. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Again, go join my Facebook group. We're almost at, I think, 65,000 members. That's crazy. Um, if you join the group and there is an issue, you can click on those three dots and report anyone. Um, sometimes people are not very kind and I do not support that kind of behavior. So if you click on those three dots and report them, one of my moderators or myself will either delete them from the group or um, delete their comment and send them a warning. So um, doing the best we can over there. It is a big group with a lot of comments and my moderators are fantastic. Most of them have YouTube channels and um, I do post their videos over in the group. So you will see them over there from time to time. So check out them. They're Bolo Finders. They have awesome content. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's going to be some other videos popping up here and here. Um, a subscribe button here and another video here. Check out another video, subscribe and come share Bolo. Thanks for watching.